This is Apple. She's a leghorn chicken, so she's a standard factory farm breed for eggs. So she had about as much space as a sheet of paper. After about a year and a half, she was considered spent. So her egg production had slowed down and she wasn't financially worthwhile to the company anymore. And she somehow escaped the crate. The neighborhood that she was found in was right outside of a mink farm. And so I called the mink farm and I just told them I was the neighbor and that I was wondering if they knew why there was a chicken. And they just told me that they were grinding up spent egg laying hens and feeding them to the mink in the farm. And not only is that like super inhumane, because I don't believe they have like a license to slaughter these chickens. I'm pretty sure they're just throwing them into a macerator. But this is all happening during like a global outbreak of the avian bird flu. There was outbreaks in October. We got her in November. They're shipping chickens across state lines that could possibly be infected and then feeding them to mink on farms which mink are one of the only animals that can get avian flus as well as human influenza not only is it like super inhumane it's extremely irresponsible and there could be a like a new pandemic brewing in these these people's backyards and they don't even know it when we first got her she was i don't think she had eaten in days so she ate two full cups of food within like 10 minutes and she was just she had no feathers you could just feel all of her bones and on top of that she was is terrified so for the first like four days she wouldn't even come out of her crate that we had her in because all she has ever known is living in a tiny cage I would put her outside and she wouldn't even come out of her crate she would kind of just sit in the Sun and like see the Sun I think the world was too overwhelming for her I think she had like accepted how it was and kind of had like some learned helplessness from that she eventually started coming out of her crate and walking around and exploring one day she just started trusting me and then she would jump on my lap like this and now she follows me everywhere. She loves to explore. Like she'll explore all day long and run around and she's still like a little bit scared. So she waits for me most of the time. She'll kind of follow me around. But lately she's been following our, our pig around as well. So she needs to have like a kind of comfort from some other animal, whether it's a human or a pig or maybe some more chickens. She's definitely the most personable chicken. She likes me more than I think any chicken has ever liked me. Part of me wants to like keep her and just have her as like my house chicken, but I want her to have the best life for her. Like I want her to experience everything because she spent so much of her life in this tiny cage. I think she'll have the best life if she has uh, some chickens that she can bond with and become more confident with and be with a flock. I hope she bonds with other people too, because I don't want her to just be so attached to me that she doesn't trust other people. I think it's pretty amazing that she even trusts people at all, considering what she went through. And I think that's my favorite part about rescuing animals is getting the animals that have like lost, they've lost hope and they don't trust people and then seeing them come out of their shell and start to trust people. And in a lot of ways they're better than humans. They're able to kind of forget and forgive what has happened to them. We're very, very different from animals, especially like a chicken, but in a lot of the ways we're, we're the same, where we, we want the same fundamental things we want, like freedom of movement and to be able to live a full life with our friends and family. And that's like the, the basics. And she was denied that.